Well, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Match three features Jack Robinson taking on Italo Ferreira, who's fought his way through to this position. He's climbing those ranks. He wants a shot at a second world title. But Jack Robinson, he'll be hard to get past. He has just been so headstrong, so focused throughout his run this season. It's been remarkable watching him rack up multiple victories at tough venue. Italo has really turned things on. He's the only surfer, or one of only two, in the, the final 10 here at the Ripco WSL Finals who hadn't had a championship to a win this season, but he's got his place in this event and he's making it count. And he's going to start things off here with a couple of nice blasts. And Italo just looking energised, looking like the, the 2019 version of himself or, or the gold medal winning version of himself that was just ramped up, hyping and, and just ready to throw everything at it. Incomplete on that first ride though. Uh, yes, he got barreled in Mexico, but he has just evolved and, and really lifted his game as we see Italo go down there. But in Australia, we call Jack the, the Vortex Shaman. He is the biggest practical joker I know. Yeah. <laughs> as we see now, Italo looking to get things going here. He's had a couple of rides already. The best of them are 5.33. Lofty on that front side there. Self weeks before in that regard. Um, you know, not pushing too much as we watch this replay here again, just so good at that style of surfing above. The Jack Robinson's going to tap into his first ride here in match three, the Rip Curl WSL finals. And there is a big place, obviously on the line to take on the Hydra Flask leader and Felipe Toledo, who uh, has just obviously been dying for the opportunity to get out and, and attack these walls once again. But Jack's not going to get too much out of that wave, Laura. And I like the beginning of this wave for Jack. It was a bigger wave, as you mentioned, Laura, and uh, two beautiful turns to start it. You know, I just felt like maybe he could have uh, finished it up, but no, not liking the way that that wave was going to be energy. I really feel like Jack is, is the most improved on tour, so to speak, to find himself in this position. He's done a lot of work to get there, and my hat's off to him as the most improved on tour this year. Got to agree with you there as we see it to low. Hammering down the line, and he is going to take flight once again. He's really uh, clear, cleared the jets, so to speak. <laughs> He's starting to really find some loft, and he has that great variation he can go to. You know, there isn't that many ramps on the rights right now. You know, there's, there's the odd one, but these lefts always usually have an inside, uh, you know, closeout section so they can go to the air. But, you know, nice surfing from Italo here, just, you know, right here, he's lining up this inside section and just has those on lock. So he's fired up. That board looking amazing under his feet. And you see that rotation and again, that technique, you push that front foot forward, get the rotation. And I think what's dangerous, uh, Italo was saying in his first heat, he doesn't think that he's a, uh, you know, he's an underdog. He's actually gone out and said he's an underdog, but he's in the fight. Here we go. Oh, I love that. Nice rotation, mixing it up with the grab now. So starting to put some variation to these moves. I think that's important for Italo. Doesn't want to uh, appear to be getting too repetitive with these front side rotations. And starting to gather some more speed for the finish. This wind ideal three. for that approach. <laughs> three well. big dynamic turns with the stale grab three, which is just crazy. I mean, there's a grab, that innovation on the first turn. Uh, you have to reward that. This heat on these small inside running lefts. Look at this. He's just getting quicker and quicker and playing with these, getting more inverted, playing with different grabs. This was a, you know, a super fun wave. He's just suiting these beautiful little lefts so well. He's really surfed his way into rhythm too, Pete. A lot of competitors, I, I feel, in the slower conditions today got too selective early on. Italo's taken his chances on some of the insiders and actually just found himself in rhythm and with priority when the sets have come to. Yeah, lowers will do that. Right? You can surf yourself into rhythm. I know ultimately you want to be on the two best waves in a heat, but sometimes if you sit too long, which we saw you know, Ethan Ewing do, it, it kind of factored into how you're surfing the wave. You know, he ended up being rushed. If you watch this stuff here, I mean, these are lefts. No one's been looking at the lefts more than each low has, and it's paid off in a big way. I feel like this is uh, you know, the most dynamic surfing we've seen, innovation and progression. Believe in the power of your dreams, and uh, he's doing that today. He's overcome some very informed surfers, some consistent competitors this year to earn his place here against Jack, and he's really starting to put his foot on Jack's throat at the moment. Nice and tight to Jack now. Just heading into this win, you just know what the MO is, and somehow he hangs on to this one after almost losing contact with his equipment. 
It's low, just really ramping up. Such a high strike rate with those airs. This way starting to flatten out. He still rips through it though. As he loads up once again, eyeing down the line, goes to the layback jam, finds some release in that tail and finishes it off. As we watch this, just Boomba. up and over and backwards, rides out, such great control. That's where that switch foot that he's really accomplished at helps him. You know, he rides the board going the opposite direction. No worries for him. It's like uh, it's second nature. And he did work for this inside stuff here just to, to solidify the score and hopefully build on the 6-2-7. It'll be interesting where the judges go because ultimately, you know, in doing those types of errors as we watch again here, you know, is control up and over. He just barely holds his nose. Look at that. I mean, he's literally tippy toes on the tip of that board. And, you know, he didn't get a great recovery. Love that turn. As we see, Jack Robinson looking for answers here now. Needs to make this one count. Sets the fins free, pushes it, forces it out of the lip, but doesn't complete the rotation. That's what pressure will do, right? You're wow. feeling like you need to, to push hard and uh, in that in a situation that you push hard and uh, mistakes happen. It's because you're not surfing for a world title specifically in a moment of 30, 35 minutes. It's a whole different level of pressure. It really is. And Jack seems to be feeling it at the moment, but he's got time here as he glides through an opening carve to set up this section, pushes it, drifts those fins free. He's been really working hard on his airs in the lead up to these Rip Curl WSL finals, but just isn't really finding those, those steeper sections and, and not surfing into the wind like it's a low, which obviously helps you take flight. I think Ethan maybe did crumble under the pressure of these world title circumstances, but he, he's had a magic year and I think surfed his way to a, a whole new level confidence-wise, and we can expect more CT wins from him in the future. But here we go, it's a low now, trying to dispose of a 6.7 to really make life hard for Jack Robinson. A couple of nice turns. He's been great off the top with those well-timed backhand hits today. Finding that release in the tail but losing no speed as he swings it into reverse again. And just gets straight back out there on that open face to finish this one off. Great small wave surfing. And Italo just... You know, his skatey style, just suiting these waves. They are a bit fluffier right now, not as top to bottom, but this wave had a lot more to offer than, than we've seen on the right. So, so, you know, amazing work from Italo to get over onto the right-hander and, and take this wave from, from Jack Robinson, essentially. And, you know, he made the most of it. He surfed it all the way through, finishing with a nice little blowtail reverse there and just doing something else wacky on the inside. It's really cool to watch Italo. And the amount of water he moves. You know, it's something that really gets the crowd involved as Jack Robinson. You know, this is a crucial ride for him. Really needs to make this one count. He's going to kick out once again. He wants to get back out there for priority. Wow, that was a, an excellent exchange by both these servers. Didn't have quite enough energy after the fact. As you watch this replay here, look at this carve just drives through it and then straight into this little whip of the turn around it so easily so uh, again jack's got the ability it's just uh, the energy and the waves that he has been having doesn't quite have, you know match what we've seen from you you know we're going to a little lower tide now so it's moving uh, off the reef slightly and takes away the the energy slightly well jack takes off but gets a little caught behind and now on the outside something standing up it's low having a think about it it says why not I've got more than enough energy in the reserves as he rips into that first turn up into the pocket nice blast there just amazing how much water he's moved today. He likes it. Signs the check. <laughs> he's ready uh, ready for dessert. Baited him out there today. He hasn't been able to tap into that magic. Here's the replay of that last wave, Laurie. You mentioned the energy level in this wave. Definitely more steep on the face. It was cleaned up by the wave previous too. You know, there's still some white water on it, but see how it had bent onto the reef and it moved in slightly. So that gave it that little steeper energy and a little shallower water. And if, uh, yeah, no, Italo just making the most of that. But if Jack was going to go to the air on a wave, that was it. Unfortunately, he went the wave before. Steph would all get all the way there because she actually recognized that she's never had to battle for a world title against Steph and wanted to have that moment. And you know what? Her wish is to you know, hear for the offer as well. It's awesome. Well, Jack Robinson goes to one of those big, clean, stylish calves to get things started. This is a bit more like it from the current world number two as he looks to save himself and maybe hang on for a title shot.
He's going to have to move quickly here as he finishes this. And Pete, you're spot on. I think this is the best exchange we've seen all day. Yeah, I know. This is uh, two beautiful waves. I mean, and uh, such great surfing. This is the surfing we expect on the right-hand point breaks from Jack Robinson. You know, again, getting a bit more aggressive when those uh, steeper sections showcased itself. And this was a much easier wave for him to ride. It was coming at him with a great pace, and he executed all. Start to finish. Wow. Oh. Glitch free as Italo absolutely punishes the opening section of this ride and hammers the bowl again up oh. into it. A third hit. And he must have heard the crowd cheering Jack on through his ride because he has answered in kind. That was a great exchange, best exchange of the heat. He needed more time because all of a sudden he had to watch this. Wow, Italo air dropping out of the sky and then just huge, big throwing water into the heavens. And uh, wow, Italo just going absolutely mad on this wave. And again, what a way to finish. But it's been a stunning performance through the rounds today. Jack Robinson banks an 8.7 on that last ride, but it's Almost a low. There. He took it a, a little higher, an 8.77 to finish things off and finish Jack Robinson's run here. Wow, that was an absolutely amazing way to finish that heat.